looks actually. <laughs> looks really close. Shaving the hairs from two ears. Oh! oh! He just had too much warm up on the first half, man. Oh, he's going towards A now as well. There are more frags to be had, and there's another one for Nico. Nico, is he going to ace with a scout? Is he going to ace with a scout? Dad, he was so close! Outrageous performance from Fur. They just lined up for it. That was purely robotic, wasn't it? Nico is alone, and with that P250, I mean, you don't want to underestimate him, but that is a shocking turnaround. Here he comes, one versus two. He knows where the bomb is, but so does Fur, who's just playing at CT spawn. I don't think Nico ever expects this angle from Fur. Can he complete four? There it is from behind Nico. He spins. He has a chance. Oh, and he predicts the next one. A headshot. Oh, it's a follow up. Nico's pulled it out of nowhere. One versus three as he creeps in from porch. They don't know where he is just yet, but they have players covering everything. Two players on site, one in pits. Completely, it's just totally ideal for this kind of a a play or any play really. It's a good default setup. And Nico's just looking to try to catch somebody here. He needs to get given a free one to entertain the chances for, to do this. There is one. Number two comes in. Oh. And he's got the third. From Shore and Betsite comes in to get the big kill they need. Now they have the two on one man advantage. Nico, we've seen him win big clutches before, but this might be a little bit too difficult. Instead, he gets the first kill on a Freeman trying to shut me up with my commentator's curse. He does have the kit as well. Not going for the stick just yet. Pentet spots it out. And now that should be Tyloo taking a. Oh. What? Was that a jump shot? Three CTs there, Rain, Nico, and all of Meister. They've got a read on this, and it's Rain to challenge first. Right in there. He misses the first shot in midair. Nico, though, a single tap of the USP. A second. Oh my god, it's all about Nico again. The triple. They're taking a bit of aggro from him. And as I said, it looked like FaZe had a solid read on this. As Nico closes it out, he gets the kill. The idea that he's here. He's, he might have nailed this call zero though. He turns away at the wrong moment. Nico now on for the one versus one for absolutely knows where he is at this point. Tapping the bomb. Nico hears him running and executes in there with the AK-47. They need a huge two on five to take this one back. Forrest close in the corner. Rain expects it. Quick kill. Oh dear, Rain's doubled it. There's another man up close and Dennis will be able to trade. It's now just Nico. Bomb plant open. Letko in the connector and a Molotov that won't be able to work because the smoke is on the bomb and Nico's gone for the peak. Another kill from the man himself and he could stick this defuse. Does Letko know the lineup? That's the question. It's a no. He's spraying and Nico stuck the bomb. He's won the round. Certainly some foot on throws action here. Nitro and Swiss will do what they can. It's just impossible though. There's no real good outcome here. If there was no charge, you can see Nico. Oh my god. Yeah, trying to reclaim territory now. This is looking stronger though. The smoke will help him out, but this is such a common position for FaZe. He will get one. This is looking much better for Nico. The three man spray down could be on for a fourth as well. The round should be there as at this point is down. 44 though, and FaZe have knowledge of the fact, I believe, yeah, they've got control of the lower bomb site, it seems. Nico's down low, he's gonna be able to take down Leas, goes for the second, beautiful stuff, Nico! My goodness me, my good- Someone holding the flank, Adren's there, but if they decide to push the A bomb site, Okay, well, Adren's actually going back. He's got that six seconds. No, Spur is lurking, but the bomb, no, the bomb is down. Spur has a lot of time to slow this down. And now Nico's got to rotate. He's got the long rotation. There's not much time here. And with the bomb in control of the CT, Spur just sitting on top of it. How on earth do you save this situation? Around the corner he goes. Guardians made some steps now. Running in. It's going to be, it's going to be absolutely free for Fur. Nico has 27 seconds to find two players. There's the first one. Now it's really awkward. He pulls a grenade out, not expecting that peak. But now does he run? Trying to buy some time, maybe Fur with a cheeky peak. Six HP for Nico, thanks to the grenade. He's got to run back. Fade away flashbang, waiting for Fur to peak. And now going for default, playing it safe. 11 seconds. And Fur will wait slowly. Crab walking, watching the right hand side from first perspective. Nico will have that duel on Pop Dog when Lucky chooses to take that fight. Lucky, here he comes, takes Guardian, expecting a trade, and it arrives. Neo ensures that. Oh, Kenny caught with a knife on his hand, Orp on his back. Nico finds it, and now three versus three. Shocks from Ivy arrives, does damage. It's not enough for Jax. He can maybe punish on that. He knows he's E box, but Nico keeping him safe and sound. He's got an Orp. He misses the shot. That was Ooh. his chance from Amanek. Now. Almost belongs to FaZe. They've got one oh, man no. to get past. They haven't checked it. They've walked out onto the site. Quest is still up and above. Nico spots him. Oh, he needs to buy his time and get the shot off before his teammates die. Two kills. What a performance. MSL, he has had a rough game here, and this would be an incredible time to step up, but Nico won't let him. This uh, is a guy who joined yesterday and who, yeah, he's played in some teams, but like, you know, we've all played in some teams. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, there's the mow down. Yeah. Some pretty crucial mistakes can happen when you're down to that kind of a time. Nico right at the edge, taking down a liege. He'll follow it up and he'll take Stewie as well. A brilliant triple from him. But that's going to make a hell of a difference. There are T's in the red though, and when that clock goes low, then things can really get bad. The bomb's been dropped now, and it's spotted so they can focus on the A bomb site. Two players remaining. The warbang attempted next with the CZ, right place, right time. And is there even time to do this? Ooh. 10 seconds to plant the bomb on the B bomb site. Uh, next should not be fighting there. Should have hit, played time. Now it's a one versus one. This isn't a full buy from Big, let's not forget. This would be quite the upset. The glass is smashed, which limit, uh, not smashed, which limits Nico's option. Headshots for face. And it's going to be down to Nico. Yugi did get tagged up by Nico in the process. It's a quick adjustment. Gade wasn't ready for it. Now a 1v1. Nico's low. He has to be precise. Yugi down to half. Jump it on top of the box. Nico may not be ready nice. for it. Of course he's ready for it. The lost bonus. They'd have another buy in the following round, but they go for the half buy. It's working out. Lining up for Nico, and he will take them down easily. Not taking any points of damage yet. And in fact, it's just going to happen once again. Um, it. Oh, Nico, there's a big HE, does tremendous damage to Mixwell. The Cloud9 are committed now, they have to go towards this A site. Yeah, 13 seconds. Beautifully done, first shot goes in, bomb in them open. Mixwell has to find this, and he gets point blank, annihilated oh. Nico! They still have a re reasonably good buy here, but Snack's been tagged up, and that's a good flash. That's gonna allow Nico to swing wide, maybe get all three. Oh. Absolutely does, that's perfect. Now there's a little trouble here. Nico, only man left to defend this position. How much damage can he do? Bomb's been seen, 30 seconds on the clock. One player by Ebox, one player in main. I'm not sure what sound cues Nico may have heard. I think he's heard something now. Just putting Lecro scanning all over the place like a robot. 3v1, get right making some sounds. Pet. They figured that out. Low HP for JKS, but he manages to hold true. That should give Nico the jump on him, though, because he knows exactly where he is. Spots him again inside of the hole. JKS just buying time. That's all he wants. Does well to do so, and I think that's going to be. Oh, Nico's got a kit. This is still super close. Smoke was about halfway through its life. They should fade at similar times. And therefore, a peek from Nico is applicable. Smoke lasts a little bit longer. In fact, they double it up. That means he's still isolated. Adren won't be able to support him, but Guardian's got JKS in the meantime. And now Nico swings, checks toward Hell, somehow Huge turns route. around to find Lies. Double setup here, but a flashbang could really render these players useless. Sai Wu waiting for the re-peak, and the orb will be dropped down. And Sai Wu coming back in with a smoke. Nico playing close, and he finds a kill, but he doesn't know there's still two more players tucked around this corner. They're going to start to run at him and Nico slaughtering them. Oh no, this is turned on its head and now he's in a one on one. He can back up, he can play that bomb. It's planted default, no kit for Alex. He's got to get on it now and there's no way he'll be able to stick this defuse. So Nico coming back in with the taps. As they should over here in the tunnels to try and see this round through. Crush just homed in on the angle. Nuki with this crossfire set up. This is not going to be an easy round for Nico if he does want to go for it. Creeping forward, flashback Ooh. in. What a shot! And now just Nuki. Oh, oh no, the shot's missed. Nico, oh, this would be incredible. He's going to go up and over. He's trying to find Nuki. Both players, it's ring around the roses, and Nico's going to get the kill, but there's no time. 15 seconds now for Hellraiser. Scooby's going in through B. That's not going to matter. Barrage needs to stay alive. The bomb has been dropped, and the round has been lost. Nothing they can do versus Nico. As Rain gets flashed into the ramp, he gets away with a kill. That's massive. Fallen trades immediately, though, and MIBR, they're surely going to speed things up off the back of that kill. Let the connector player try and work. But Nico spotted him and he won't let him get out. Two for Nico. Great stuff on this A site. This has been a pillar of consistency here for FaZe. Nico and Rain able to hold off this position many times. Nico is not done. The M4. Massive advantage in terms of the weaponry, I suppose, for Ethan and it's himself and Tarek that line up, but it's equal for now, but it's going to be Nico. Oh, he's just absolutely destroying them. So you're less motivated because you're like, this is supposed to be fun. Yeah. The other thing too about the, the demos, the important the demos is that Nico going for a push in the middle area. Three players coming out, so Nico will get one. He gets the one he can. This is absolutely a get splitting for a third. Nothing doing this jet. How has he managed to hold that? See, at least three players there. Again, doesn't need to necessarily take this engagement, but he does have Nico to secure the cross, although Nico starts to move forward, and he's going to have three players to contend with, but he'll take care of two Ooh, of them and the third. Yes. Okay, Nico. Four kills for Nico. Very easy indeed. Now it's twos. There is an engagement to be had Ooh. here. That's a big headshot from the wow. one and only.
That leaves Nico in a one versus two. Of course, it's just a one tap from him. He wants that. Spots where the last player is, fully equipped. Toa. But he can't really risk pulling a grenade out necessarily. Nico could peek at any time. Off angle towards the barrels, towards that highway position. Spots him again. We'll be patient, and he pulls out a grenade in it. To force the player out from under balcony, right? So they do have to dedicate a player to checking that. Nico might save them the hassle. He's looking to be Ooh. known. He's not looking to hide under Palace. This Prince is claiming territory down on the ramp, doubling up. He'll shut them both down, looking for the triple. Next. Oh, just very lucky. He's, uh... Nitro shaving one off orange means cold Zara the bomb planter still has to be close. And the only question then is where is Nico? See how long the rotation takes? Was they a lot pushed them so far back? I got scared. <gasps> Nico, good pick. Beauty of a shot. The Nitro close gets one back, follows it, hop on cycle. Nico knows that Twist is coming in from CT. That volley gave him away. A flying Nitro popped from the skies above, and Twist crossed over regardless of the flames. A bomb tap, a preemptive peek, and a round for the face clamp.